Hi everyone, Phil Karen with Club and Resort Business out here at Portage Country Club in Akron, Ohio. Today, uh, Portage Country Club is hosting the inaugural PGA Hope Cup here. Uh, we have groups of veterans competing in a um, scramble, competing in a five person, nine hole scramble. I think, as I understood it, we have four branches of the military represented. The uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines uh, veterans are here today. As I mentioned, we have a total of uh, 50 participants, um, 10 teams, uh, five people each, one of those being a pro, and should be a lot of fun. Have a, not a bad day uh, for early fall here. A little chilly, probably about 60 degrees, gray, overcast. Uh, a little bit of a breeze here and there, uh, so that might be a factor for some of the shots. So, PGA HOPE is a program uh, for our veterans. Uh, HOPE stands for Helping Our Patriots Everywhere, and it's a six to eight week program, a uh, free program for veterans uh, to basically learn the game of golf and become better, better golfers. And it's uh, run by our PGA members here in Northern Ohio. Um, and we see a wide range of abilities, all the way from beginners to all, and we have some advanced players too. It is, and it's our first uh, time running an event like this here in Northern Ohio. Program's fairly new for us. Um, this is something that we are modeling after our national PGA Hope Cup uh, that's done in Washington, D.C. every year. And so we're extremely excited that we've got 10 of the 11 teams represented here in Northern Ohio today. Each, yeah. uh, each group of veterans has a PGA professional uh, that's with them. It's actually their professional that leads the program at their facility. And so they invited uh, four of the participants in their program to come and experience this inaugural PGA Hope Cup today. Hey. Uh, PGA Hope uh, is a great organization that it helps not just veterans but also uh, active military kind of give them an opportunity to learn the game of golf, give some instruction and uh, should give a little peace back to them but for all the things that they've done for us. They came knocking on our door to see if we were willing to host. Uh, the membership here at Portage Country Club has always been very supportive of the military. And it was an honor to go ahead and say, yes, please come on out. We would love to go ahead and open up the doors of this great club for this wonderful group of folks to help the veterans and also the active military and the, the mission that they have. Oh. I got a phone call and it was an easy no-brainer yes uh, to support something like this. Um, you know, PGA loves to give back, uh, our section loves to give back, and our club does too. 
Uh, it really took me about uh, about one minute of phone calls to get this approved through the, the higher ups here at the club. It was a very easy yes. Um, you know, love to support this kind of an organization uh, that's doing so much for uh, for veterans uh, and through the game of golf too, uh, and locally. Uh, and it's great to see the amount of other fellow professionals that have teams here today um, that host these programs and just seeing the smiles in these people's faces as they're playing golf today and getting started. Um, you know, a lot of great compliments already as people come off the golf course. Just really, really happy to see. Yeah, it, it's it's a very inspirational day, very emotional day for all of us. Um, and it's something that uh, I think our veterans aren't taking care of uh, enough. And it's great to be able to give back to those that have served our country. And this game of golf has been a tremendous way to give back. And I think they've, they've, uh, they've realized what this game can give them um, you know, in their day-to-day -day lives and in the people that they can meet through, through golf. So we're just happy to be able to make an impact on, in our veterans' lives.